Hello. I thank God for you and for this time that, that you take now for the richer things, for the, the lasting things, the things that go in through eternity, which, which eternity, when you do this now, it, it includes so far into the future, but you, you, you bring that and the blessings and the richness of eternity into this time now. So I have a reading from, from Ecclesiastes and, and from a book, and, and the book's name is How Great Our God. It talks about, well, about science. It's actually a, a book for younger audiences, but it talks about the, looking at the world around us and, and appreciating the blessings of God through, through all we enjoy. So our reading today from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a purpose under heaven. Spring and summer, fall and winter, you know what the seasons are, but why do we have them? The reason we have the seasons, the technical reason, is that the earth doesn't sit straight up and down in space. It tilts. It leans a little. It leans 23 and a half degrees to be exact. So as the earth makes its 365 day trip around the sun, the amount of sunlight that falls on each part of the earth changes a little bit every day. The places that get more sunlight have summer and spring, while the places that get less have fall and winter. Because the earth is always, always moving. The earth is not the only thing. The seasons are not the only things that are constantly changing. In fact, it's about everything on this earth that is changing. Families change, schools and jobs and friends. Even we ourselves change. And it can be hard to know what you can count on because everything seems to be changing. But we can remember this. God never changes. Not ever. God is the same today as God was yesterday, and God will be the same tomorrow. So that when God says that he loves you, and he'll always be there for you, you know it's true. Spring or summer, fall or winter, seasons come and go, but God and God's love stays the same. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for the beauty of the seasons. We thank you for the beauty around us and we thank you for your love that through it all is steadfast. Through Jesus Christ we pray, amen. God bless you.